How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we are doing a Galaxy 4 and celebrating May the 4th. Right now I have all the color palette that I'm gonna be using arrayed out on the canvas, but I also wanna tell you what colors that I'm using. So, I'm using Cerulean Blue from Artist Loft, the Liquitex Basics Ultramarine Blue. I have Dioxazine Purple right here, Quinacrinone Magenta, and I have Flow Acrylic Black, which is gonna be the base coat and part of the colors. And then I have this Artist Loft Titanium White in these two cups. Small amount of white just to kind of signify a little bit of space and stars and stuff in the galaxy. So with that, I'm gonna clean off this canvas and we're gonna start layering the cup. these colors I have one to two drops of my coconut oil hair serum to kind of aid in the cell development I also want a darker color to be on the top of the surface of this galaxy pore so that is why I'm gonna start with black now when you're using black use it very sparingly because it will tend to try to take over in your your painting so I'm just trying to layer these in like contrast in colors trying to give it a little bit of a some depth I did learn something interesting since I've lived here I've been storing my paints out in the garage. Now I didn't think anything of it until now it's starting to warm up and I'm starting to use the paints more. Well, the freeze and thaw cycle kind of messed up a lot of my paints. So I had to strain them and there was a lot of chunks and nasty lumps and stuff in almost every color. So. That's something for you guys to think about if you ever decide to store your paints out in a non-temperature controlled environment. That you might have to go through the extra step of straining your paints before you use them. And that's what I've spent the better part of the last hour and a half doing. Hopefully it worked. I think it'll work. Look at me making a mess already. So I'm just layering them. Not in any real particular order. But I'm trying to do maybe a dark, a light. Interspersing a little bit of black, little splashes of white in there. So I, I don't want them to completely take over the, the painting, but I do want them to be able to create a little bit of lacing in cells. Now this is a 16 by 20 canvas, so I think I needed 11 ounces of paint. And you know, true to form, I mixed entirely too much, but all this other excess paint will absolutely go to good use because I intend to do quite a lot more canvas work coming up in the, in the near future. Something I've, I've been, I've kind of fallen out of that a little bit doing the canvas work and I'm super excited to get back to doing some paintings on the canvas. So I hope everybody's doing wonderful today. Summer is finally here, it seems. Hopefully it's here to stay. I mean, I enjoy the summer. I get to go out and go to the beaches and kayaking and all this other stuff. Get outdoors, do some stuff, you know? And that, that really makes me happy, that kind of stuff, so. I enjoy it thoroughly. 
what do you guys like to do during your summers? I'm curious, let me know in the comments. What do you typically like to do during your summer breaks? Alright. We're almost full. I know I only need 11 ounces, and these are what, 14, 16 ounce cups? But I'd rather have more than I need than not enough. And I've been kind of sparing with the white. And this is on the bottom, so. Well, it'll come out of the cup first, which means it'll be on the bottom. So we'll see. Maybe some of the, the silicone will help it push through to the surface. It's cerulean blue. It's not got quite a lot of that. And cerulean blue is a really pretty color, especially arrayed next to this dioxazine purple. Right. I think that's about all we're gonna need in there. But I have one last thing that I wanna do to this. Kind of to break up this concentric circles. I'm going to take the stick and draw a line, kind of cross-sectioning all this off. But let me bring you guys back up to the top. I'll do the cross-section and we'll put the base coat on. All right, so I'm going to take this popsicle stick and I'm going to cross-hatch. Just draw a line straight through it. Look at that. Can you see that already? It's probably focusing on my hand. I'm trying not to drip it. Look at the cells forming in that already. <laughs> wow. All right, we did our cross hatch. Now do it gently so you don't risk blending those colors too, too much. They are gonna churn when you flip the cup. But whatever you can do to kind of delay that is beneficial. All right, now we're gonna start putting down our base coat. I'm almost certain I have enough. This is a big canvas. It's been a long time since I've worked with a canvas this size, so I'm, I'm, I may have mixed more base coat than I than I needed, which that's all right. I'd rather have too much than not enough. That's for sure. I probably could be just tilting this, right? Instead of trying to brush it on with this stick, but I also know I'm gonna be tilting it and taking everything to the edges, so. I know I'm going to get the coverage that I want anyway. I don't want any silicone to contact the canvas at all because then that's just going to leave bare spots that rejected the, the paint. Oh yeah, you got plenty. I'm going to do a little bit of tilting because we don't need a whole bunch of extra on there. I mixed entirely too much, y'all. But it's going to be okay. We're gonna make this work. And for next time we know. So let's just take all of this over the edges. We have a whole lot of extra. I'm watching it right now. It's kinda crazy, but that's alright. It's alright. I have to take this moment to thank every single one of you because recently my channel, well I should say our channel, has been going through a lot of growth and it's all because of you guys. So I mean I really can't thank you guys enough. You guys are allowing me to 
kind of do my thing and you're enjoying the content. I'm loving doing what I do. So it can't be a job if you love it, right? And I absolutely love to paint. It brings me a lot of joy. So I want to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to pursue this passion of mine. All right. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of extra paint on there. But we are ready now. now this is going to be this is going to be the awkward phase, right? <sighs> Cuz like I said it's a giant canvas. So we got it. spilled a little bit but that's all right let me take some of this excess and make sure all around the sides is covered very well we do have a spot that concerns me right there let me see if I can... there we go yeah because the cup was so heavy it scraped the, the base cup the bare canvas and that worried me there for a second but we fixed it so right now I'm just letting the cup or the paint in the cup rather settle down it was filled almost all the way to the top but not quite so we're just letting the paint kind of do its thing So we're just letting the paint do its thing inside the cup. There's gonna be minimal movement because I filled the cup quite a lot. And that's another thing that you might wanna think about. If you don't fill the cup up to almost full, when you flip it, all that air is gonna flow through the cup and possibly mix your paint more than you might like. All right, so here comes the moment of truth here. Are y'all ready? You're ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, wow. That is amazing. I'm in love already. I mean, look at this cup. I don't know if it'll... Look at the cell formation on the inside of that. I'm going to keep that. But here, let me. I want some of this to settle more in the center. That is wicked looking. I love this. Whoa. You got this really cool magenta lacing. Super delicate there. And you have some black and white interspersed. Really crazy delicate lacing right there, too. My goodness, I love it. So what I'm doing right now is basically I'm letting it kind of settle on its own. Anything that's gonna open up within it is gonna open up. There are some air bubbles in it because I didn't fill the cup all the way to the very tip top. So I'm gonna have to take my heat gun and pop those air bubbles before we start, which is gonna also give me an added benefit of activating any silicone and helping create even more cells before we stretch it. But I don't want to stretch it and then try to pop the bubbles on this one. Like if this wasn't so much paint, I would be perfectly happy leaving it the way it is because like some of the stuff going on around the edges is awesome. cool looking you know there's still some bubbles that will, they were stubborn sometimes they don't want to listen and they do their own thing so now we're gonna take this big old canvas here now personally I don't like this part that's where the, when I flipped the cup I was letting some of it continue to run out so a lot of those colors have blended with each other 
So I think that's going to be the first corner I take off, honestly. But we need, we want to move this super gently. You don't want to be rough with it. Don't break up the cells that are in there. But yeah, this is awesome looking. I love the way this came out. So now we just slowly tilt and stretch it. I might make a quick adjustment right as it starts flowing over the corners just to try to maintain some of that. All right. Now we bring it back to the center. That's wicked looking. Guys, what do you think of this thing? Just the colors. There's some real deep, rich looking colors in this. And the cells, I kind of like this white in this corner. So I'm going to try to maintain some of that. I don't necessarily want to have negative space. So when I tilt it, I'm going to try to, there we go, let's bring it back. One thing I struggle with, to this day I still struggle, is knowing when to stop. Right? And I think we all struggle with that. To a certain degree, right? Because I almost like the way it is now. But there's nothing that's pure black with negative space like that in the galaxy. So I kind of want to continue to the corners. Alright. But yeah, like look at this crazy stuff going on in the in the black section. There's a whole lot going on. And that cerulean blue against that dioxazine purple with all that like black lacing mixed with that ultramarine blue. It's gold. gorgeous. I love it. Like, I can't believe this. This came out so much better than I thought it was. All right, so now it's composition time, right? How do I want, I think I want some of this back towards the center. This is crazy looking. Absolutely crazy looking. Like, I love this. Wow, okay. I think that's good. I am going to take the heat gun to it one last time because there's still some of those stubborn bubbles that didn't want to pop. Holy, holy heck. This thing looks amazing. So now I'm gonna take this heat gun, do some long, slower passes over it. Any of those bubbles that were just below the surface should pop. It should also possibly uh, heat up some more of that silicone and create like micro cells within the other cells. But this thing looks phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love this. Goodness gracious. Like there's just so many little parts. All right. Well, let me bring you guys down and you guys could check this thing out. But I think it looks wicked. Absolutely amazing. I love it.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.